hello guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to create this form so if you want to learn how to create this form you have to welcome back this is online office teacher where i help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one so if you are new to this channel consider subscribing that said Let's create our form. Having launched Microsoft Word, the first thing I'll do is enter the title of my form. So I'll say customer service request. Enter. Then next, I insert a table. So I'll go to insert tab, click on table, and I need five rows. So I'll point on the first cell up to the fifth one, then I click. First thing I'm going to enter is customer information. And I'll go down to the next cell, date, customer, or you can say customer name, address, and then phone. Then I'll come outside the table, press enter. Then I'll insert another table. So I'll go to insert table. This time around, I need 14 rows and four columns. And the whole of these boxes in here will not give me that. You see that I have 10 by eight rows. So using the cells in here will not give me the number of rows I'm looking for because I can get up to eight here, but I can still insert whatever number of rows and columns I want. So I'll go to insert table. Now in here, number of columns, I need it for the number of rows, I need 14. Then I click on OK. Now I want to enter service request information in here, in this whole row here. So what I'm going to do is I will merge everything in here. So having highlighted the four cells, I go to layout. Take note, you will not see layout if the table is not selected or is not active. Then I go to merge cells. Then I enter service request information now in the second row i want to merge these two cells so i'll just highlight them and go to merge cells and then merge these other two cells after highlighting i click on merge cells my information is not correctly spelled i've omitted a in here so i'll come down and i enter merchandise problems in the next cell i'll enter delivery problems now down here i need a little bit of space and then this particular column should be narrowed so i'll highlight starting from this point up to this point because i need these three rows for the rest of the information in my table so after highlighting I'll point on the line so that I get this vertical bar with two headed arrows pointing left and right. Then I click drag to this direction. Maybe I can position it in between the column down there. I release my mouse and I do the same thing in here. So I highlight up to this point. Then I select the line and drag up to this point perfect now it's time to enter my text in here order not field down here i will say defective merchandise so in order not to bore you with my slow typing i will just fill up these spaces and get back to you mm -hmm. 
okay i'm done typing so next thing i want to do is merge the whole of this row after highlighting i go to merge cells then i'll enter other information down here i want to merge the whole cells merge then i'll say remarks also here i will merge the whole cells merge cells disposition all my tables are set i'll come outside the table hit enter i'll say signature okay having inserted our tables and filled them up with text now it's time to format my form so i'll highlight this align the center now change it to uppercase i'll make it bold and then increase the size by using increase font size just click on it 22 is okay i want to provide space in here then inside this cell i'll go to layout i'll increase the height to 0 0.5 inches and then i'll align the center so it will be in the middle of the cell that is top down and then left right now i'll go back to design i want to fill the cell with color so i'll go to shading as i hover on the colors you see it affecting my work so i'll choose this and then i want to make customer information that is my text capital letters so i'll go to home change case then uppercase i make it bold then down here the whole of this text i want them bold after highlighting i click on bold so this table is done i go to the second table click in there i go to layout and the table tools now increase the height to 0 0.5 inches i align the center then i go to design i want to provide shading i drop down the colors and choose this color i'll capitalize everything and make it bold home tab change case uppercase and then bold now merchandise problems i want to format this cell and i can do it in conjunction with this other one so i highlight everything in there i go to layout and the table tools then increase the height of the row to 0 0.5 inches then i center everything i go to home tab change case uppercase and then bold i'll bring colon in here and here as well perfect everything here is fine next i'll format this cell where i have other information so i just click inside the cell go to layout and the table tools i increase the height to 0 0.5 inches i align the center then i go to home change case uppercase and then bold i'll also change the background color that is shading so i go to table tools design drop the colors then i choose this color now remarks and disposition i want to change everything to capital letters so uppercase and then bold and then i'll increase the height for the two cells so after highlighting i'll go to layout then height 0 0.8 inches is okay then signature i want to take it down a bit then i insert a signature line so i just go to insert shapes and the lines i choose line then just draw my line whilst i'm dragging i'll hold down shift so that i get a perfect line okay 
Then I go to drawing tools format. Then I change the color to black. And I also increase the weight to one PT. Okay. So everything is laid out perfectly. Now I want to increase the thickness of the outer lines of my tables. So I want this line to be thick, this one, this one, and that. And I'll do the same thing to the second table. So to do that, I'll select the table, then I'll go to design and the table tools, then I'll go to line weights in here, I drop down the arrow and choose the line weights I want. Then my mouse pointer will change to a brush or a pencil. Then I click on this line. Then do the same thing for all the lines. But if I'm going to click throughout, it will be a waste of time. So I'll just click here then I drag to the end. So in here is just a single line. So I click. Then here, I click over here and drag to the end. Alternatively, there's another way I can do this without clicking on lines here and there. So to do that, I'll first of all deactivate my brush by clicking border painter. Then I'll select the second table. Upon selecting the table by clicking anywhere inside, I'll see this little square here with four headed arrows inside. I'll click on it to highlight the entire table. Then I go to line weight, choose the weight I want. Then I go to borders, drop down the arrow, then go to outside borders. And the line style will affect the entire outer lines. As simple as that. So my table is complete. Let me zoom out so that I'll see everything clearly. Okay, now I will deactivate. So this is how my form will look like. So doing a form like this is only to show you how you can get your hands dirty working with tables. So with this idea, you can use it to create whatever form you want to create using tables. I hope you found value. If you really do, please like this video subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel just like this one, you'll be the first to know. Keep watching and we will talk soon.